Okay, can you imagine if someone comes over to like ask us how we're doing? We're like, fine, <laughs> just measuring our rig before we go to. How long have you been RVing? Three years. hours faster than it usually goes. What happened? You know, <laughs> you make fun of me, but you like the dinners. So I, know. I, com I complain because it's fun. <laughs> okay, not because I'm actually disappointed. Not you're actually complaining. Okay, complaining is fun. Everybody thinks so. <laughs> Never a dull moment. The outdoor garage flipped up and I went over to bridge and I heard a bang. Okay. I have two of them latch. Remember when I said change that latch? Cause when you bring it over the mm -hmm. thing, it's messed up. It's like backwards. So it goes up or sideways. It doesn't oh. lock. Oh. It's the third one. I need that changed. We had a bit of an issue. We were driving down the road and we hear a bang and this thing pops out like this. And I'll tell you what, it was a pretty narrow road. And if a tree was right here and it hit that thing, could you imagine? That would not be good. So I think we're gonna start locking it. So Trish was saying, what were you saying, Trish? Okay, so this one works. See this one goes, and this one works, but this one's backwards. So when you flip it, it turns up instead of down. And so you're saying this is backwards. That one's backwards. So, so this should be on this side. You're gonna have to get rid of those keys in your hand because it's gonna fall down. What do you mean? Well, all the pieces just disassemble. It's a really tiny screw. Oh, like, like that? Like that. <laughs> okay, okay so, so let's see. So this you is- You see the notches in it? It's what makes it go in a certain direction. Okay, so this, let's make this lock. So this is okay. unlocked, and we go like that, and then that's locked. And then that's locked, yeah. Okay. Now we are gonna have four okay, points. so there. Other, yeah, there. There, and then you're saying like that. Now that's locked. That doesn't feel locked. These things are so, Chintzy. You yeah, know, they're you like chintzy. the handle. This is the one that you really need a handle on because yeah. of how huge the door is, right? Oh, hey, you know, there are some things you just don't want to wait to fix, and this is one of those things. Yeah, this is a pullover. And yeah, get it done. I saw that thing come up, and I was driving down the road at 50 miles per hour on a narrow road with trees. The image in my mind of the consequence of that. Bad news. It was not pretty. Okay. All right, we so go. where are we going now? On our way to Jackson. Jackson. Refresh our memory. Okay. Let's talk about that. Let's have a quick conversation around the height of your rig. <laughs> and how important <laughs> it is to know how high you are. <laughs> you know, we really should have a placard in the cab with the height of our rib rig because it's easy to forget. Yes. This is 128. You might want to climb up on top and check the height from the ceiling to the top of the thing and then we'll add it. That's a good for idea. the ground to the thing. Let's go do that. All right, grab a tape measure here. I think this is so fitting that the only tape I can find is Stanley. And I see Trish already has a Stanley. I sure enough can't find my Milwaukee. Oh, look at this. Remember, <laughs> remember Minnesota? Ah! And where's my <laughs> Where is my Milwaukee? 
tape measure. This is know. so flimsy. Season one, banging my head up against the rig because I couldn't get this. I can't stand Stanley tape. I can't stand Stanley. 10. 10, two and a half to the ground. So let's call it 10, three. So now you have to, <laughs> you have to measure from the from rain the gutter. gutter. From the gutter So you said up. 10, three? 10, three. All right, here, hold okay. this. 10-3. Wow, that's bigger than I thought. You get it from right there? I did it from the very lip, so do it from the bottom of the lip. That's about? Three. Three? Yeah. And what's this? 14. 14, so 17? 17. Yeah. Okay, so we've got 10-3 to the gutter, three inches to the roof, so that's 10-6. And then we're, and then the air conditioning uses 14, so that's a foot plus two inches. So 10-6, 11-6, 11-8. We're 11-8. 11-8. Okay, well we can make it under the bridge. We can make it under the bridge, and now we need to write down 11-8. Okay. Tell everyone how lucky we got. <laughs> Super lucky. I don't even know where we are. And we're on a lake, and it's gorgeous, and there's a boardwalk that wraps around the entire place. And it's 50 amp. It is? It's full hookups. Wow. We're level. Amazing. And we're still detached in a back end with the view of the lake behind us. Yes. And she's going to call us back because the office was closed so that I could pay over the phone. And I put money on it that this is going to be about like 35 bucks. That's what I'm guessing. Under 40 for sure. Yes. 39.71. Okay, let me go grab a wallet. Is the wallet in the truck? Yeah. Okay, let me go grab it. Not bad, huh? $39. I think I already showed you the view, but we're just kind of happy about it. You know, this is kind of one of those things where <laughs> it sounds so bad. Setting your expectations really low by not having any means you're constantly exceeding them. Bye-bye. She said, you need anything, you just give us a call. We live five minutes down the road. <laughs> well, what did I you say about Jackson, Mississippi? Jackson? Oh, yes, it's the land of hospitality. That's what I've heard. Yes. So we're course, on We're that. not quite there, we're on the cusp. Right on now we're in Farmville, and I don't know, are we in Louisiana or are we in Mississippi? Uh, Louisiana, I think. So Farmville, Louisiana? I think so. Something popped up on my phone and said, welcome to Louisiana. Yeah, 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 so, we're in Louisiana. So anyway, but this is gorgeous. And then I, there was something bobbing out there in the lake. Something was coming up and going down, but it's a lake, so it couldn't possibly be like... A body? <laughs> an alligator or something, oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Well, the next stop was gator, gator something. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, really, there was. There was, I was like, well, maybe it's just a... Yeah, there was an animal right out there. Mm. His little head came up and then his head went down. You, should we start training for a triathlon? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Okay. He said, just go on down here and follow the road and find a site, pick out one you like, and then come back up and tell us which, tell us where you are. Wow. Which is how every RV park should operate. Isn't that nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. First come, first serve. First come, first serve. What do you think? Uh -huh. That's kind of cool. Huh? Yeah, that's nice. And there's a triple axle. Whatever you want, whatever you want. You're the light in the tunnel when I'm feeling gray. You're the sun peeking through on that cold winter day. And if I could change Lately, day, our ability to find really nice campgrounds 
has been really good. <laughs> so, Stop, you can't, you can't eat this shit. Anyway, this is a fantastic site. So now Trish and I have to walk up and, and pay, I think it's $30 a night. By the way, if we haven't mentioned it, we're keeping track of all the RV parks that we've stayed at this season and their cost right there on this link. So definitely go check it out. Man, is this really nice. I think we'll stay here a couple more days, just get some work done, check out what's going on in Jackson, Mississippi. I mean, uh, you wanna walk up with me to go pay for the site? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> I'm stealing his chips. Cause he's not doing his homework. So I'm saying Stop. I don't eat all his chips. Cause I got him a special snack. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm eating them cause he won't do his homework. Stop. Okay, you're Anyhow. me out. Oh, you're gonna crush them. Stop it. Oh. They're mine. <laughs> Mine now. Stop. They're mine now. Ew. You are gross. In the meantime, Carson wants to play a little basketball. He's talking a lot of smack. Says he can beat me in a 1v1. So, let's uh let's see if Carson has what it takes. If Carson wins, he gets $5 and if and if I win, Carson gives me a 10 minute back massage. Here, throw it to me. I'm gonna just do this one handed with the camera. Ready? Here we go. All right, I think I could do this. Yeah? Ready for this? Yeah, let's see if you can just do it like that. Ready? Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Here, I'll tell you what, Carson. Again, because I'm because I'm really feeling it with this hand. All right, let me just line this up real quick. Here we go. Do you think you can go back on the three-point line and bounce it in? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna do the young kick into the basketball hoop. See how this goes. Oh, look at this. Two, zero. Oh. Two, zero, two, two. Whoa! Four. Four. No, 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 no. It's one point only. I don't need my hat to win. Eight. Eight, seven. You know what the scale, Carson? Right. Making a three-point shot. Right in front of the camera. <laughs> I want No! Carson beat me. You know, he also fouled me. Hey, sh we, we don't traveled. Need, we don't need to talk He about double that. dribbled. No, I didn't. <laughs> These are all made up things. All right, you beat me, fair and square. But I'll play a little harder next time. Oh yeah? yeah? Well like look, dude, I can make a shot from literally right here. I was pretty scared when you were two points ahead of me. I shouldn't then, have let up. I shouldn't have let up. And then, you know you're my son and I started feeling a little sorry for you. Oh yeah? Yeah, I did. And I was like, you know, I should, you know, I was I'm trying to I'm trying to help your self-esteem. Yeah. You know, you're a growing boy. You know? <laughs> oh man, is this a pretty sight. Hey Bob! What's going on? How are you? Good. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Nice to see Imagine you. Imagine that, right? Yes. How are you? So we come in here with the camera and there was a little bit like one eye, like, uh, what's up with the camera? And it was the microphone, it's a microphone. It's always the microphone. Yeah. But once they, uh, once we kind of introduced ourselves and that kind of stuff, Johnny says he's gonna open up the back. And is it a coffee roaster? Is that the official yeah. title, coffee roaster? They're gonna roast some coffee for us so we can document the process. I'm Johnny Maderos. Johnny Maderos, so yeah. he came over from Brazil when he was 14. Paul is the uh, IVP of everything. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get that title? I need uh, that title. Do everything. <laughs> of everything. Yeah. Do everything. So what's the process? You put the beans up in the, mm -hmm. the top and then you- Got the hopper. You, yep. In the hopper, in the and hopper. you go to hit some magic buttons on the machine. Yeah, when this when this comes to 200, I'll drop it, and you can watch it empty out into the into the barrel. And then we watch the beans cook from this very dusty window. Okay. 
Once it gets to, a, getting close to about 155 degrees Celsius, it'll start to crack or pop like popcorn. And that's where flavor development begins. Um, in any sort of in coffee process, before that, it's going to taste like grass or um, I don't know peas or something like that. It's not it's not a very pleasant flavor. So once the caramelization of the sugars in the coffee begins at first crack, that's a, right a little bit before this color. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this is about second crack. So that's where you get into your dark roast. Uh, we won't be doing going to second crack, but that's where the oils start to come out of the coffee. No kidding. And you get the it's a much lighter sounding crack. You'll hear it. Okay. Uh, that's that's how you determine uh, you know where your coffee is going to be. You got first crack, and then and then you let it develop. And depending on the coffee, we're going to mess with the heat and airflow at first crack in order to get the flavor profile that we want. normally get applause after every roast, right? <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so if you're interested in a good cup of coffee, there's a link down below, and if you buy more than $25, there's free shipping. So, Trisha and I got four bags. Because when you find good coffee, you just need to buy good coffee. So, anyhow, this was a fun. So now, Edward invited us in for a little class C tour. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Not much to it. <laughs> That's it, right? We're done? This is it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the master in the back, curtain, bathroom on the right, and your homegirl. And Ginger. <laughs> and then we got kitchen here, microwave, sink, oven, big old lounge area right there. Oh man, check this out. And then we've got the front area, which is normally a sleeper for a lot, but this is like a utility closet pantry, mudroom. Just work station. When you only have two people, the oven mitt holds all of the oh, forks and knives and that everything. That's great. That's fantastic. That so. is a good idea. That's a great idea. All right, that's one trick. Give us one more Class C oh, trick. Mm. Keeping all your charge cords on one of these. So oh. I can just... Oh, we need to be doing this. And then I keep, there's a plug right here. I usually keep the power cube right there, so I never take it out. I just put the cords back in. Well, you already have a speed on that because we can't find them from hour to that's hour. That's why. Yes. I got tired of replacing them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. a big museum buff, right? This is far from a museum. Oh my gosh. This is so well done, and the colors here, and the exhibits, the way they've done the videos, the way they've, like, every theater mm -hmm. had, like, a different type of theme that they would portray the information, mm -hmm. and then the music, and the voices, and the voiceover. The only thing that would come close to this that we've ever, on all of our travels, would be, like, the 9-11 Museum. No, exactly. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not a museum, color. it's an experience. Mm -hmm. And they've done such a great job to, like, put you with certain time frames, even the music we're listening to right now. Mm -hmm. This is a cool visit if you're in Mississippi. What's up? <laughs> Always good to get back to your truck and not find a parking ticket. Yes. Even when you're parking in an area that you feel comfortable with, it's always like you get back and you're like, okay, I'm glad there's no parking. It really was free. It really was it free. It said it was free, 
But we've been to places where there's a tiny little sign below the free, and it says "just kidding, not free." It's at the very bottom. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it looked. It, it looks a little bit like this. Yet another parking ticket. The sign says two-hour metered parking between 11 a.m. and 7:30 p.m. So we looked at our clock and said, "Hey, it's eight. It's eight o'clock. We're good." And above the sign, it says, "Otherwise, it's a 30-minute tollway zone." $50 parking ticket. Okay, Trish and I are just packing up the rig so that we can get down to Mobile, Alabama. I'm kind of working on my Mobile. Come with me, Trish. Trish and I were talking this morning and we got a couple hot tips. So both Trish and I had a difficult time sleeping the last couple nights and we had no idea why. Very difficult. And then it occurred to me last night that it's because up there is a light, one of those like street lights. And it made this, it was bright. And I guess Trish and I need it to be dark to get a good night's sleep. And then I remembered that I had this up underneath our clothes up there, kind of on the bottom. And I saved this because if you remember from Alaska when Trish would play, what time is it? Remember the what time is it game? We're gonna play my favorite game. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> What time is it, everyone? What time is it? What time do you think it is? Okay. Is this game getting old? It's not. Is any? Does anyone find this game? Hold on. And and not only not only do we have to play this game, not only do you have to tolerate this game, but then we have to like prove it to you. Eight fifty-seven. They can't see. Look, eight fifty-seven. It's just black. It's just black. <laughs> it's eight fifty-seven. Eight fifty-seven. Okay. Okay. Look it. Wait, wait. And it doesn't matter if we put these down or up. No. <laughs> So we still had this. So I got the idea late last night, not even late, like right before we went to bed, to throw that up there. This is what's so cool about this. Anyway, I made it look a little prettier. And I fit it in there like this. Pitch black, got a great night's sleep. So that's our hot tip is these things are great. And they're also, they're also great for in the summertime to keep out some of the heat and in the wintertime to keep out some of the cold weather. So. You know, you can you don't have to tape it up or anything because if you have the blinds, it just holds it back there. Maybe you can Velcro it. Anyway, that is the hot tip for today. Um, one more thing out in the family room, Trish. See yeah. this down here? We have to close that outdoor kitchen because the rain goes this way and drips mm. in the kitchen mm. and wrecks the drawers. Oh, look at it. It's all down there. Yeah, it's all wet. See that? What happens is the water goes back behind there and it leaks down in here. Oh, God, why? All right, all right, all right, no pressure, no pressure. 